All right. Uh, I appreciate Dave uh, for stopping uh, by our podcast. <laughs> um, we're a new and upcoming podcast. Uh, it's called The Nerd Informer, and we usually just go over uh, shows and movies. But lately, we've been getting into the conspiracies and going down the rabbit trails, you call it. Um, and we came across actually Ian's the one that pointed out the flat earth to me and, and actually your podcast. And, uh, for the last week and a half, been pretty hooked on it and, uh, getting used to it. My, which podcast deep inside the rabbit hole or the flat earth podcast, the flat earth. uh, And it's, I'm going on Spotify and I'm actually just searching it and you're in podcast and it's kind of using you as a tag. So I'll re listen to all those podcasts as well. Yeah, I listened to uh, uh, some of your shows, uh, jumped around a little bit. And your last one, you guys are like, does this guy really believe the earth is flat? <laughs> that That's funny because <laughs> I don't believe it's flat. I know it's flat. <laughs> all right. And, all right. and, and uh, I was going to cancel on you one minute before the show just for fun and then not really cancel. <laughs> oh, my God. I would love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I got busy. So, uh, you know, it's only so much time for practical jokes. And yeah, then, it's uh, good. You guys are going to learn some stuff. I, I don't know what else to say. The, here's the thing. You know my offer. I want You said I offer one Bitcoin. It's up to three Bitcoins. Three Bitcoins oh, for wow. one proof of the globe. Nobody's claimed it yet. No one. I've, a couple of people have tried lamely, but they didn't do any research, and it was just nonsensical. I'm offering 100 Bitcoins for Holy shit. anything dumber than the globe model. <laughs> model. Anything. <laughs> Any category, doesn't matter. It could be a retarded guy shitting in a street, you know, <laughs> and eating it. That's not dumber than yeah. the globe model. I'm sorry. So have you ever had, like, offering that up, have you've never had, like, let's just say Neil deGrasse Tyson or, like, you got that other YouTuber, Professor uh, Dave, I think Not Professor Dave and Neil deGrasse Tyson, the failed actor. They, yeah. uh, they will not talk to us because they know they can't. Neil deGrasse Tyson has gone out and said, we don't have time to talk to flat earthers. There's more important things to do. We'll never talk to flat earthers because they can't because we'll destroy them. Somebody that's less versed than I am can destroy their, their BS model. Mm -hmm. um, so they will not talk to us, but they will spend day after day, show after show, video after video, m gaslighting us making fake comments about us, you know, um, misrepresenting us and moving the globe posts constantly. Every time we, we, we show them something, they move the globe post farther away. Okay. okay. They, 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 it's the dumbest thing ever. And their, their attempts are lame. Let's start off with Jeff Bezos and, uh, and oh. um, what's his face? That's uh, one that, of the things Richard I wanted Branson. to bring up. That was the yeah. first thing I had on my list. You know, uh, they, they shot a giant dick up into space. Did you notice that? <laughs> and, and the, the first rocket, thing that we thought wait, watching. And the work. rocket also looked like a dick. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And the first thing I watched Anybody? in the live video, I'm like, man, that, that looks like a dick. Great joke. <laughs> that was a freaking great joke. <laughs> Every, I, I, there was a meme <sighs> going around with the Austin Powers uh, with the dick, and it was hilarious. So, I mean, so, it looked exactly like it. So once you learn about how um, these – elite, whatever you want to call them, how they love their sexual innuendos. I mean, they built that rocket to look like a dick. And when they make it take off, this is the official video. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. What's it doing? What's yeah. it doing? Okay. <laughs> right. Shifting up and down. This is what they showed us. Uh, you know, and there's not no side to side. This is what they showed us. Well, what the hell's going on there? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, so, they, they couldn't get it any more clear. And, like, and I mean, you guys, up and down. which one of you said, you know, like, hey, where's the video of them floating for four minutes? They probably didn't release it yet. Who said that? Uh, uh, that was me, uh, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, um, you, you lost five points on that one. That we, <laughs> we say, when we watch, when you watch any NASA SpaceX launch, before the thing <laughs> basically clears the tower, there's six, seven different cuts, angle, angle, yeah. different angle. It's all, I'm like, Show me one of those uncut. Show me one uncut. And uh, and the Glober's argument is, well, we don't have to do that for you. You know, if, if we sent you the uncut one, then you'd want it cut. You know, they don't have to release that. I'm like, we fund them $65 million a day. Yeah. Um, but they won't show it because it's not. They didn't go into space. Neil, again, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the failed actor, uh, moved the Globe Post again. He was just on uh, some morning news show saying that, they didn't go into space. They just went up high enough to get zero G to, to have like a parabolic flight. Yeah. Now, that's all they did. He was, um, Bezos wasn't even on that rocket. That rocket was pure CGI. Uh, they dropped a, a, 
uh, the pod out of an airplane. I don't even think he was on that. You see how hard that thing hit the ground? I don't know if Dude, you guys watched yeah, it. Yeah, oh, yeah, I did. It. I thought it was supposed to only hit at like a mile per hour or it was it was 16 miles per hour. He right? wasn't in there. It's nonsense. The whole thing was just a staged, a horrible staged, edited media event. But, you know, if they were floating around for four and a half minutes, why don't we see that anything longer than five seconds? We don't see anything longer than five seconds with him floating. And this is just zero G footage and it was all done. They designed, they decked out a zero G plane to look like, uh, you know, his special plane. And well, uh, they did with, a, like they did the, a, uh, with the money that they're collecting all year, they can actually have the, uh, the, the money to fund to do something like that to tr- trick people pretty much. Well, they don't even need that much money. No. If, if they need I don't know, a couple, maybe a couple hundred thousand, not even, you know, you can go up on a zero G plane for five grand and you get, uh, I think you get like five, five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Of the, you get a whole bunch of ups and downs. So this, and they always have the girl with the long hair flipping her hair around. They always show the reflection of the earth, you know, yeah. you know just like they did with the stupid Tesla car. Um, Anyone that believes anything, you know, with NASA or any of the other fake space agencies just isn't paying attention. You've yeah. traded in your common sense for complete and total nonsense. And just to hold on to your, you know, your childhood belief in space and, and, and you know, Star Wars and Star Trek and all that nonsense. Yeah. It's all mind programming. But you're right, I've thing... noticed that they do show the females a lot with their hair just spread out like stiff. So, not... so look at the military. If you got in the military, what's the first thing they would do to you? Shave they your head. Shave or, your head. But they yeah. let women on the space station with long hair. How much hair are those people inhaling and choking on, floating in the in the, around the space okay. station? It must be disgusting yeah. up there. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. And then, you know, we we did a um, on the space station um, a couple of years ago. They uh, was the Super Bowl, and the, they were interviewing the astronauts. Uh, you know the the. Um, ESPN was interviewing the astronauts live, and they yeah. had the the two jerseys on. They had okay. the jerseys of the winning teams on and we checked and we're like, when's the last supply ship that went up there? And it was like 18 weeks ago or, or longer. There, there was like over 40 or 50 teams that were still in, you know, in the running. So pretty much so, they already know who was going to win. <laughs> well, no, that, that, that's conspiracy theorist right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then all of a sudden, a couple of days later, NASA releases a video of the unboxing of all of the jerseys. All the jerseys. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they okay. did it on a zero G plane. They quickly staged the zero G plane. They got a box and they all went up there and they quickly, you know, they're rushing because they only have like 35, 40 seconds to yeah. make all the shirts float in the air. And they did it. And, uh, and then like, you know, like, oh, you know, and they're like, oh, we just happened to release this now because you guys have exposed us once again. It's crazy well, to think about. Um, one of the most interesting things to me is when you talk about the flight plat- pass of planes and stuff. Yeah. That, that's really interesting to me when, when you right. look at it on a flat or map. We'll go, we'll go there in a second, but I heard you guys talking about, you know, hanging from wires. This, yeah. These guys are flipping their hat around and they're always flipping their microphone around. Look, we're in space. You know, they always have something. Um, some things are real. Some things are CGI. Like when they have a blow up ball or something, that's real. It's filled with helium. And then the other stuff is CGI. But then they have a guy float by in the background. I, he was way down the hallway. You could barely see him, but he floated by just for, you know, hey, that looks pretty good. I zoomed in and you could see his harness and his and the wire. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay yeah. <laughs> yeah they had either a, a glitch or they didn't think anyone was going to zoom in yeah. right right and uh it, it's ridiculous and now the script was this guy on the right flips his hat around a couple times and then he passes it to the guy in the green and the green guy puts it on the counter but watch he moves his hand he thought he passed him the hat and he takes it and he puts it away and he missed oh, it no. oh no oh yeah yeah uh, have you ever listened to like the audio of that to see if that's like the most? Oh that yeah, yeah, doing? yeah. So well, um, I, I, I don't know who has the audio because the, the YouTube purge, we lost so much stuff. But NASA took it down right away. But he was freaking out. They were both stuttering. They, they when they realized they screwed up, they just had to keep rolling, and you could tell how nervous it was. The guy's like swallowing, his eyes are going all oh. over the place. Oh it, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. It's funny that they, it looks like they are wearing harnesses. It, like, you it, think? it looked like in the back. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you, wait. Th- these guys, these guys on the space station, they don't look like they're wearing harnesses, do they? Look, look at their friggin' what's going oh, yeah. on in their pants. What yeah, the whole pants is like, like he's balancing himself. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. 
And then whenever they flip around, they always pivot from their waist. If I went like this in space, I wouldn't pivot at my waist. I'd go yeah. tumbling and, and spiraling in all different directions. It kind of did look like he was actually dropping his feet and sitting. You know what I mean? Getting caught by a harness or caught oh, by the that, wire. There's, there's so many. There's so many. And I've actually never seen these videos. I've only yeah. reached And this recently. guy, he had the helium beach ball and he, he was holding it. And you know how you ever make a balloon or a ball just neutrally buoyant with helium, just the right amount of helium, right? You ever yeah, do that as yeah, a kid? Yeah. Um, it's hard to keep it that way. Well, he was holding it under his arm and he must have squeezed some of the helium out and he dropped it and it fell. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. And then this guy tries to grab it and his harness stops him from reaching it. And this girl's like, no, 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 don't go. Don't go. Right. Okay. And they, they're, always, they're always doing stuff that, that is just, absolutely ridiculous it definitely looks like they have limited movement all of them absolutely um where, where's another i had another, there's another one which i always forget which one has it it's the extended one and uh it shows it shows a lot of things where where is it maybe it's maybe it's this one this is uh you know this is somebody this is they have, it's called the argo system nasa admits they have this and it's what they train um spacewalks on but looking okay. you know what this guy's doing and look what this guy's doing kind of looks the same to me yeah it's pretty similar it's similar how about exactly the same thing yeah it, it's absolutely ridiculous you know and then they're doing pranks out there they have a guy in a gorilla suit running around with all those wires running around do you think that that would be allowed like if you, think you did that on a submarine that you wouldn't right. be court-martialed right. again <laughs> here's the ball Here's this guy hanging from wires. You can see the harness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the back of his shirt. Yeah. 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 The back, right? That's it, insane it, to think about. It goes on and on and on. And, you know, they, nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. It's, it's unbelievable how, how ridiculously stupid people are. It's and it's gullible. true. I, it, 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 it is true what you said that uh, they, can know, they haven't gone live in such a long time now because of certain things like this. Yeah. Right. Hey, they don't they don't go live and then you saw the one where um they the they were on the zero g plane being re inter interviewed on the news and then uh they came out of the parabolic arc a little too soon yeah and I, on the news they all crashed into the wall right. i'm like wait a minute and i turned it sideways and it's they it was the end of a zero g flight oh, it's no unbelievable way. Yeah, watching that move watching that monkey go through there like that dress up like <laughs> that there's no way they would be allowed to do that with absolutely I mean, not right anything they could destroy i mean by accident like that how about this a cgi lemon right through his oh, hand. oh wow oh yeah, yeah look at that right through his hand and, and you know what their answer is cosmic rays no way that's their excuse well the cosmic rays oh, uh interfere with the with the disc and you know it makes it look like it's going through his hand but it's really not i don't even think the hand is real their clothes aren't even real uh, cause their clothes are, are, have to deal with the wires and they're, they're, they're all CGI. I have a video, I believe it's, it's featuring on the app, maybe even tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a wire fail and the, you can see the guy's shirt is pulled out by the wire and then he yeah. does something and the shirt just goes magically just zips right back. It goes right back to his body. Like, like it had elastic in it, but it doesn't have elastic in it. So the shirts aren't even, aren't even real. And if you're going to be posting that on your app, is that going to be under the photos or under like? It'll uh, be on the featured the video. So every day there's okay. a featured video right on the bottom left hand your corner. I, I heard. Yeah. Um, the featured video every day is on the bottom left. Okay. And uh, you just click the video and watch it. You click the thumbnail next day. And if you miss it, just hit the archive button and it'll give you all the videos from that month and then the other, all the other months also. Okay. So anytime you miss one, you can just go and get it. That's How about crazy. this one? Watch his head. Transparent head. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not it's real. Right All nonsense. So, David, what made you get into the Flat Earth? Uh, I went in kicking and screaming. I was doing a podcast called Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole where we investigated um, real cons you know the conspiracies that are going on all around the world, all the deceptions, the thing that happened in New York, the one in Connecticut, the one in Boston. And uh, then people like, Dave, you have to look at Flat Earth. And I was like, oh, you're banned from our social media because you're too stupid to even watch my podcast. <laughs> and, uh, and then finally, I was forced to look. And I went in with the purpose of debunking um, Flat Earth and proving the globe. And that's how you become a Flat Earther. I kept it quiet for six months. I'm like, I can't talk about this because it'll discredit all of the other work I've done. And then mm -hmm. I was like, Wait a minute, this is the truth. Fuck it. And I went for it. And uh, here I am six years later you know, talking to you guys and, and <laughs> hundreds of other people.
<laughs> what was like a, what was like the main thing that caught you to become the flat earther? What are the thing that you saw? Like, okay, this is it. This is. Uh, yeah. So what I say point. is don't, don't believe anything that I say, verify it yourself. Now let's, let's put that to NASA. Don't believe yeah. anything NASA says, verify it yourself. Oops. You can't cause it's everything's in space and they, you know, you'll know you're not going to space and you know, they want you to think, well, a couple of billionaires did and the you know, price will come down and soon you'll be able to nonsense. Those guys are part of the high order of the priests of scientism. And, uh, so the, the things was a lot of the fake rocket launches, but the thing that got me in was um, seeing things too far. And I was like, okay, what is, uh, by the way, while I'm talking, this is 40,000 pounds falling out of the sky, falling out of the sky, free falling. Does that look like it's free falling? Look, look at the smoke. Look at the smoke. It's barely yeah. moving. Okay. And then watch it land. It's absolutely ridiculous. But um, I said, okay, the curvature formula. And I looked up the globe curvature formula at 10 miles. There should be 66 feet of curvature. I'm like, oh, that's a lot. And I said, let me just see what the, the uh, anti flat earth, anti flat earth, you know, globe trolls are saying. And, uh, and I think it was Mick West site, whatever, whatever his site is called. Um, mm -hmm. He said, well, no, cause you're it's a ball and you're halfway down one side and you're the other person's halfway down the other side. So it's only half of that. That's ridiculous. It's retarded. Um, and so it's only half of that. Not true, but I'll give it to him. 33 yeah. feet of curvature. Set up my camera, foot off the water, bought a $1,000 camera, tripod, super zoom, zoomed in on this buoy that's 11 miles away. And I was rounding down because 11 miles is even much more curvature than 66 feet. Mm -hmm. Not only could I see this 10 foot high buoy, I could see the surface of the water for I don't know how many dozens of miles beyond it. Okay. Where there would be hundreds of feet of curvature. So the question I have to you is how many patches of flat water does it take to make a sphere yeah you're right um technically you shouldn't be able to make yeah. a sphere with flat water yeah, yeah. Well, that's good <laughs> now you're thinking <laughs> very good very good <laughs> like uh recently i saw like after you just talking about that i recently saw like i think it was on the history channel on youtube i saw where mark Sargent was on uh doing a test with them with exactly what you're saying they took a boat out mm. with the lines and it was like a pretty much a huge, I don't even know what they use for it. They went out certain like so far where those lines were disappearing. Yeah. So the red epic. and the white lines, it looked like an yeah. American flag. And it yeah. was the, the, the history channel and you had that blonde woman and the other guy and they set it up and they looked and the bottoms disappeared and they go, that's due to the curvature, right? That's yeah, yeah, what that's they what said. Yep. But in that shot, go back and watch it again. Okay. Freeze frame it when she said, when she shows, shows it with the bottom two stripes missing. You can see the surface of the water far beyond the boat. So what is it? Curve and then come back up again? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. So there, it was a rough day. When you have a wave that's this big, that you know, a foot, a, a one foot high wave. Yeah. Okay. And you put that in front of a giant building. You're not going to do anything. Move that building ten miles away. Okay. That building's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, and the wave's going to cover half or all of the building. Okay, I see. So right, the yeah. wave hasn't reduced. So it's the angular resolution limits of our eyes, the perspective, um, the density of the air above the water. There's a whole bunch of things that cause things to disappear from the bottom up. And so, could that be like a, a mirage effect, kind of? Well, that's a whole, a, whole, a whole bunch of things. So look, there's no boat here. There's no okay. boat here. There's no boat here. Oh, wait a minute. What's that little white dot? That's a boat. Now I'm going to zoom all the way in. You're going to see the boat. And as I zoom out, it's the same thing as the boat just going away. And watch the boat disappear from the bottom up. And it's disappearing from the bottom up due to the, the bottom having the lowest angular size and the waves in the foreground create, creating what I call the wave front edge. There's videos that explain that in depth on the app about where to, uh, what about boats over the horizon? And it's gone. And now a Glober would say that that has disappeared over the horizon. But if it went over the horizon, a physical horizon, could I zoom <laughs> in on it? Right. You wouldn't be able to zoom in on it. Absolutely. You're right. So it's an optical thing. And the Globers have even in these uh, flat earth debate shows have admitted, yeah, it's an optical horizon. The physical horizon is hidden behind an optical horizon. How lame is that? I mean, that, that, you know, I wish I was a Glober because it's so fun. You could just make up anything. You could just say, anything. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's com complete and total nonsense. Other times when you're going, there's a boat and as it's going farther and farther away, it starts mirroring, right? Their mirror line is right here. And yep. so you're seeing the same thing twice. And as it goes away, it'll mirror more and more. Things okay. disappear behind that mirrored edge. Okay. And that's how things, uh, you know, the optics across the water, the optics of our sky 
do lots of amazing things. And then the way our brains interpret them is a whole nother thing, right? You can take a Glober and a flat earther. If you got them, let's say we can get up to 300,000 feet. I don't think anyone can even get that high. I don't even know if that height exists. Yeah. And you look down, the Glober is going to see a ball because he's going to see a circle and his brain's going to go, oh, that's a ball. And the flat earther is going to go, nope, it's a pond. I see it. It's, a, it's flat water and uh, it's a circle. Right. We see the same distance in all directions. If the conditions are the same. Yeah. That creates a circle. Right. If I see 100 feet that way, 100 feet that way, 100 feet that way, 100 feet that way, draw a line. That's a circle. And we see we see in a circle. So and then our brain, our programming tells us um, tells us that is a um, that is a sphere like this guy. This is the limit of his vision in all directions. It's the same. And if you draw a line across it, a straight line, which is in the air, oh, look, curvature, that's a sphere. No, it's just a flat circle. It's the limit of their vision, right? Yeah, we'll that yeah. okay. and, and, and that's how, that's why you think you see curvature. Yeah, because when I was little, I'd go to the beach and you could look at the water and you could see, you could say you could see the curve of the earth, you know, the roundness of the earth. But that's the limit of the vision that, that you have. It's just the limit yeah. of your vision. And you know, sometimes there's clouds, you know, the air is thicker on one side. So the horizon looks like it's lower. Like when you're in an airplane, you know, they say the horizon always rises to your eye level. Well, sometimes you're looking so far that that it turns into um, it just turns into sky. When you're looking into the distance, you there could be something there and you just can't see it because because the mm. air is so thick, um, it just becomes looks like empty sky but it's really there's really something there like here's some mountains whoops oh i just freaking threw up a mountain. sometimes i click and i hit the x and now the i hate that <laughs> and now i gotta go find it <laughs> um i gotta find it right now though so so what, what was i saying um when you look into the distance um let me uh, let me show you uh i'll i'll, I'll put up um something why, why i pull up the picture because i need to i need to show you this so okay this is mount canago this is a mountain that's uh um that no no this is a uh, illusion france looking out over the ocean and uh in the distance is mount canago it's 175 miles away yeah and you can't see it because the light bouncing off of it just can't push back to your eyes but the globe answer is, well, no, the, at that distance, the top of Mount Canago should be a mile below the curvature, a mile. Well, two days, a, uh, two times a year when the sun passes through, mm-hmm. uh, passes in line, it backlights Mount Canago. So, so the can... sun's power is more, is, is brighter. It's the brightest light. And all of a sudden you can see Mount Canago. Here it is. The top oh. of this mountain should be a mile below the curve. The global argument to this is, Oh, that's the mirage. The, the mountain's way over the curvature. The sun is already set. It's all refracting up and magically stopping at your eye level. And how many miles is that? 175 miles. Oh, yeah. It would definitely be underneath if it was curved, I would say. I mean, that's, yeah. that's far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here is uh, here. I think this was the picture I was trying to pull up. You, there's mountains that get lighter and lighter and lighter. That actually wasn't the picture I was trying to pull up. But as you go into the distance, the mountains get lighter and lighter. Mm-hmm. And then it just becomes sky and you really can't see them anymore. So that's fascinating. I didn't even see it that way. Yeah. So you don't understand, like, like just to show you, you couldn't see Mount Canago. Yeah. Um, because the air just because when the air is opake, it's sky. Yeah. With, I see what right, you're saying yeah. now. Yeah. I, I never, th- I never even thought of it that way. People, so we're not, we're not taught to think. You know, in school, it's memorize and regurgitate, memorize and regurgitate. Oh, you get an A. You did a good job. You memorized and regurgitate exactly what we wanted you to believe. Now that you believe it, um, there you go. Here is, uh, here's another example. See, they get dark, lighter and lighter and lighter. There's probably another mountain. That's probably the best can't, example right there. Yeah, you can't see it. Right. Um and. I think in the past podcast that I've listened to, you said that you talked to someone in the world fair about they used to teach uh, that the earth was flat, right? Yeah. So um, Ruth, a 102 year old woman, um, I was interviewing her about the world's fairs and she had such a great memory. Um, This was in uh, February of 2020. She had such a great memory about her fifth birthday. I asked her what they taught her in school. And uh, she said, they taught me the earth is flat. And uh, we found other people 
and other countries that have been were taught flat earth up and through the 1930s. So this whole flat earth thing is not new, uh, not not old, not too thousand years old you know the greeks figured it out two thousand years ago uh nonsense that's not true um it's only been less than 100 years and uh, far less in some areas of the world then they introduced world wars and depression and all sorts of stuff and just basically reset um everyone's memory they reset they reset the way people think and did you think it just had to be do all with money just for nasa uh, it has nothing to do with money. Money, well, it has nothing. They don't need the money. Money is uh, not real, and they just control us with it. Money is money is absolutely one hundred percent worthless. The only thing money is good for is uh, lighting a fire. I don't know, you yeah. know, with paper money. <laughs> but people, but people believe that it's worth something, so they're willing to trade it. Um, they're willing to trade it, and you know, so that so that it has an imaginary value. Um, they you they don't really give NASA sixty five million dollars a day. They take sixty five million dollars a day away from us, and uh, we just agree. Oh, this I found the picture. This was the picture I was looking for. The mountain. Yeah, the mountain. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Lighter, dark. You know, and then there's more mountains out here. You just can't see them, so it becomes. Oh, yeah. That's how yeah. it works. Just, oh, wow. Yeah, um, I never even ever thought it uh, thought of it to look like that. I mean, to think that way on how it's getting lighter and lighter in each picture you see. I mean, just coming across the day to day. Yeah. And also everything gets compressed into the horizon. If you look up here, let's go over um, perspective. So, you know, at the, the lights look like they're going down, down, down. If I was underneath the lights, they'd, they'd really, they'd be high and then they'd go down even steeper, but I'm off to the side. So you look up and you see a cloud, it's over your head, it's high in the sky. You know when they're, all the clouds are sitting on a nice cloud deck? They're all sitting there yeah. at the same level. Yeah. So just 20 to 30 miles away, they'll touch the water. They'll literally merge with the water from your point of view because perspective just brings them together. So this cloud over here, this far cloud right there mm -hmm. is merges in with the horizon, okay? So this viewer is looking at that cloud and he drew a, a pole, like an actual string, a line, a pole from his eyes to that cloud. He would look at that pole and it would be going parallel over the water, right? Yeah. That's how he would see it. But Makes imagine sense. if you, Right, so he sees the, the going parallel over the water, going right to the cloud. That's how his vision works. For his reality, that cloud is level with his eyes. But if you were standing underneath that cloud, this is you underneath the cloud, and you could see the line that he drew from his eyes, you yeah. would see a line sloping down right, from yeah. ten thousand feet. It right? definitely makes sense, right there. Yeah. Okay. So, so now remember, he sees this cloud at the horizon. So that cloud is become the horizon for him. So we're gonna extend, extend that line. And as the sun travels over the earth without going down, it's just going away, mm -hmm. it's gonna go. And when it, for this guy, when it passes that line, yeah. it will look like it's getting, it's disappearing behind it. It'll set behind it. And remember, he sees this line on the ground. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you his point of view, what he sees. So this is what really happens. But what he sees is this. Remember, there's the line, yep. there's the cloud, yep. and he's going to see the sun go down. The sun Into is just going away, and then it disappears. And you go, oh, no, it's going over the curve of the earth. That's nonsense. Nonsense. Right. So that's an animation. Let's put it into real world, real, okay. real life. Okay, so I made a model. Um, now that I've added more features, everything moves, of course. Um, and I have, it's called my flat earth kitchen. Okay. Where I created a model of the flat earth because my kitchen counter is flat, testably, measurably, provably flat. And where the heck did it go? Um, oh, here it is. So. So here's a line, it's level. We're viewing it from a celestial point of view, from up where the sun is. I'm moving the sun along the line. Now here's a cloud deck, mountains, whatever it is, I'm just showing you it's something opaque and the, the sun never goes below it. It's just going across following this line. Yeah. Now I have a camera at the other end of the counter, on the counter, a terrestrial point of view, watching this thing move away. And if I showed you it first, which I'm gonna show you right now, I'd say, is this line level or is it angled downwards? Looks angled downwards. It looks angled downwards. Here's that opaque cloud deck, atmospheric deck, whatever. It's at, it looks like it's at my eye level. 
and it, it looks goes, like it's setting yeah wow. and, but it's still above it so and now look at this line it almost it looks like it's almost going straight down yeah okay? it's a level line but you wouldn't believe that unless i showed you ahead of time now let's compare it to a real sunset here's it here it is here's a real sunset now look that's not the horizon there's the atmospheric deck of opacity okay you can't yeah. see it and then it goes now looking at this without zooming in you don't see that space you don't see the space and it literally looks like it's going behind the horizon of the earth you believe yeah. it's going behind a ball because you've oh. been programmed your entire life to see that to believe it that way yeah, yeah. i mean you couldn't have explained it any better with that right there thanks it's getting hot in here it's getting hot in here because the sun you. is close <laughs> Um, what else? Where do you want to go? Let's talk about the firmament for a second. Yeah. The, the dome. Oh, I've always wanted to know about this. So do you think the dome is, is you think it's a solid object or you think it's atmospheric or what, what do you think the, the dome is? I don't know, man. You been there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, I, if I had to take a guess, I would say it's some sort of frozen ice glass oxygen couldn't tell you i think there's different densities and then it becomes solid um you've seen the go fast rocket hit it right yeah okay that that's interesting there's a lot of controversy on that and everyone will argue until time you know until the end of time on that one but um i don't know what it is but it's uh you know a lot of flat earthers will say there has to be a dome because you can't have high pressure next to no pressure well we don't believe that space is a vacuum so do you need a dome? If you look at a yeah. pot of water that you're boiling, you have a bubble on the bottom of the pot. You know, you got this bubble. Imagine you were still a little tiny guy standing inside that, inside that bubble. You're on a flat surface. There's a mm -hmm. dome above you. There's water above that. You're being held in with pressure, but there's really no physical dome, right? It's just water. Yeah. Right, right. How's that happen? Uh, I mean, and think about this. Think about, think about this, right? This one blows people away. Um, when does it rain other than sprinkles? Sprinkles versus a rainstorm. When does a rainstorm happen? When we have what kind Low of pressure barometric storm. pressure? Oh. Low pressure. Yeah. When a hurricane, you ever been in a hurricane? Many oh, times. Yeah, yeah. so you've seen Florida. rivers <laughs> of water coming out of the sky. Like, how did all that water float in the sky? Because, you know, airplanes can fly through these clouds. How mm -hmm. did all this water stay in the sky? Where's it coming from? Maybe it's it's you know there's something multi-dimensional about it but low pressure lets the waters from above in and you have mm. a hurricane you have a super low pressure that's when all the water comes so all in. the water comes in I'm, okay water's so above you... water's below Gaddafi found water below us did you guys see my video on momar Gaddafi? Uh, i have not go to search the great man-made river d-i-t-r-h that's my channel deep inside the rabbit hole d-i-t-r-h and uh, it's a short video, and it's about how Muammar Gaddafi was drilling for oil, and he found an ocean of pristine water below the desert. An ocean, not 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 a reservoir, an ocean, and uh, a fresh water. And so he started what's called the man Great Man Made River. Forty years, it was the largest aquifer project in known history, yeah. and he was pumping water all across Africa, giving um, families organic farms access to water, tractors, seeds cattle everything they needed he was going to feed all of africa and when he finished it in 40 years uh the, the hillary clinton and the united nations and obama went in and blew it up with depleted uranium no way <laughs> biggest crime in humanity oh, wow i'm gonna have to look that up and that's uh, that's actually on your podcast you said on my channel on my youtube channel d-i-t-r-h okay. the initials for deep inside the rabbit hole okay. and uh if you could find my playlist i got a couple Gaddafi videos he was one of the most loved amazing leaders of all time and we were taught that he was a demon i've never even yeah. heard of him right yeah he so was the, he's the head of libya yeah and wow. then we they killed him well it's, and there's controversy on that did they really kill him some people say he was part of the cabal Oh, no. whatever he what he did for libya he took it from the lowest poorest most uneducated country to the highest in all okay. of africa yeah wow. well, i definitely have to look into that um yeah a lot of people talk about the coriolis effect is there anything you could, could you educate us on that cool story bro doesn't exist <laughs> okay yeah, it doesn't exist. You know, the Neil deGrasse Tyson said, you know, the guy that kicked the football, you know, the Coriolis saved him, you know, when it bounced off the post, that was nonsense, right? 
How come planes don't have to go by Coriolis? You know, a, only a sniper has to go by Coriolis. That's a that's fake. That's a number one argument by the trolls. There's only one video of one sniper who's just nonsense. We've talked to snipers. We've talked to the guys that train snipers. They're like, never. We take everything into effect, they say. Humidity, wind, distance, drop. Yeah. You know, the, the drop yeah. of the bullet. Because the sure. bullet going forward is going to drop. The, the um, air pressure, uh, maybe even where the sun is, you know, whatever. But they don't, they don't pay attention to the spin of the earth. Yeah. You believe, right? You believe that you're on, you know, if you believe in the heliocentric model, that you're on the, the ball, earth, spinning at a thousand miles an hour. At a thousand miles an hour, that's faster than the speed of sound. You're orbiting at 66,600 miles an hour. Wanna, let, me, let me show you what that is. Yeah. This is the hypersonic sled. Watch. It's going to come by at Mach 8.6. You ready? Mm -hmm. Did you see it? Wow. Jeez. Okay, watch it again. And if you hear the, there's a video on my channel, I think, that I, I have this with the sound because the sound is awesome. What? Mach 8.6. Wow. Okay. We're orbiting the sun 10 times faster than that. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> and we're chasing the sun at 90 times faster than that in elliptical orbit, speeding up and slowing down, turning and spinning, forces going in all different directions, but we have lakes that look like this. Glass. Glass. Uh, it seems like it's impossible at that point. It's retarded. I'm bringing the word back. It's a great word. It's retarded, okay? <laughs> that word. It's absolutely <laughs> retarded. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, so, it's ridiculous. No one's going to win their 100 Bitcoins because nothing is more retarded than the Helio nonsensical bullshit model. What would it take? What would someone have to show you in order to, for you to say, okay, I, I believe you? What do you, what do you think? It one <laughs> proof of the globe. Just one. One. I think show the only me actual curvature. Show me a real photo of the Earth from space. You know, show me, uh, have them do a live feed from the space station, right? It's so yeah. easy. People are like, well, the space station, there's a 24 hour feed. Go watch it. It's the same 17 minutes it's been playing for 20 years. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. You know, and I had a globe around. I said, what, what about this? I go, how come there's no land? What would you guys say? You know, obviously it's a space station. They always get some, you know, in something in there. Yep. It um, definitely looks like it's just, orbiting. you would say it'd be over the ocean. Yeah. And you cannot kind of see the curvature, right? You see the curvature a little bit. Look Actually, that. it's in our front yard. We just <laughs> use a solar panel and turned it upside down. That's oh how God. easy our minds are, right. are, are, are affected. Trips. How easy. So I'm going to show you an optical illusion. It's not, a, it's just the way your brain interprets stuff. And no matter how long you look at it, you're not going to be able to rent. You're not going to be able to fix it. Ready? Yeah. Are these tables the same size and dimension? Uh, they do not. They don't look like it. No, they don't appear to be. No. They're the exact same size and dimension. Oh, wow. Wow. Try to render that. Try to get your brain to fix it. You can't. Yeah, you can't, at all. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> wow. Right. So, no way. We, yeah. So when people say, you know, oh, I looked at the moon and the moon, it's a sphere. So the earth is a sphere. Well, look at the lights in your ceiling. Is that a sphere? Which one of these is a sphere? That one's not. How about this one? Is this one a sphere? They all look mm, like it. They all look like it. Ah, no, that's flat. Okay. It's flat. <laughs> is it flat or is it a sphere? I would say sphere. It's a flat. No way. Okay. So what I'm showing you, how about this one? Is this a sphere or is it flat? I would say flat, but it, I mean, it's not, it's a cop. All right. So what I'm saying is no matter where you, no matter, all about you perspective. can't touch it or measure it. You, you, yeah. you've got nothing. You've got nothing. Okay. NASA shows us, you know, these pictures of earth um, that they, people say they can't fake all the pictures of earth. You know, there's real pictures of earth. Um, no, there's not. And NASA actually admits it. You know, they're, they're guy that made the blue marble. Um, yeah. He admits he made it in Photoshop, but then a couple of years later, they come out with this photo. What's, this, what, what's wrong? But some, someone will say, well, they're closer and you're not really seeing the edges because you have a wider angle. Um, that's nonsense. But if you look at it, we can actually measure this and uh, something that we can, we can verify, yeah. um, which is, we, if I can find my images now that everything moved because I added those pictures. Yeah, so you had one moved. picture and then everything rearranges. Remember okay. the game where you had the... Uh, concentration where you flip over the card and it's like if it didn't yeah. match you turn it over and you have to measure yeah. where it is thank god i played that a lot because that's, <laughs> that's how uh that's how this thing how it's going right now yeah that's how, how it goes i, I gotta i 
Zoom should make it so you can order order these. All right, here we go. If this is a photo, I mean, I, you can verify going across Mexico and Baja yeah. is 934 miles. Scientifically testable, provable, not a theory. That's the distance. So the diameter, according to NASA, a straight line through the Earth is mm-hmm. 7,917 miles. Okay. All right. Yeah. I should be able to fit eight and a half of these in between these two red lines. And I can't even fit them on the page here. All right. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. So that is a crappy painting. Okay. It's a painting. A painting. They made the US look a lot bigger. It's ridiculous. It's nonsense. And and they and if you look at you compare p- photos from years apart, the the um they use the same clouds. Okay. 20, 1978. And then oh, yeah. in 2017, they showed us all global warming and pollution. Look what it's done to the earth. It's horrible, horrible. Look at the clouds. There's the the hook is clouds. the same. Oh, yeah. The same, same freaking clouds. Okay. Yeah. It definitely is the same. Once a liar, always a liar. Or we, it, it's it. We didn't go to the moon. None of it's real. Nobody's been into space. Nobody's been up on a rocket. You know, period. I got to say that the moon landing, those pictures, I mean, that looks like it was built, like you said, out of cardboard. I mean, it looks so cheaply put together. Buzz Aldrin the other day, moving the Globe Post again, was on Conan O'Brien. And Conan goes, you know, when I was a kid, I watched you uh, take the first steps on the moon. And he goes, no, you didn't. He goes, no, I did. I saw it on TV. He goes, nope, we didn't have television cameras. You were watching an animation. This is what he said just the other day. No way. You were watching an animation, he said. Um, I'm going to have to look that up. It's on Conan. Uh, um, I'll, you want me to pull it I'll pull it up for you. How's that? And we can play it right here. Right I would now. Have, yeah. I'd actually like to see that. I mean, um, I will, uh, show it an animation that, yeah, but, but again, yeah, he said an animation. All right. All right. So let me open this. And if I pause that, and I saw the one picture on your app that none of them look like you said, happy in that picture. And it looks, none of them look like they just walked on the moon. Yeah, and then the Globers will go, you don't know how they feel. You know, they're shy. They're this, they're that. It's the dumbest thing ever. Um, all right, so share with sound. You ready? It's a short video. Yeah, yeah. All right, you can see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Oops. And play. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, I can hear it. Yep. This is fascinating. I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does. I remember my parents waking me up, and we went down, and we watched... You guys land on the moon, no, which you didn't. was no, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation, so you associated what you saw with. I have very hazy memories. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, no. What we saw was we all we all were gathered around heard, the old curved top heard radio me and listened. Talking about uh, you know how many feet we were going to the left and right, and then I said contact light, engine stop. Kind of sounds angry while he's explaining it's it. Exciting. A few other things, and then he was forced to lie. Houston. Tranquility Base, the Eagle has landed. This was ex- Man, how about that? That, that was that, very exciting. Not a bad line. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. This was... No, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. Picture, you watched animation. Picture, wow. You watched animation. Picture, you watched animation. So all those videos were nothing but animation. Nothing was real. Well, I don't know if it was animation. They want you to argue. Now the argument is, was it animation? Was it filmed somewhere else? You know, um, some of it's animation. I mean, look at the first spacewalk with, uh, I don't know, who was it? Yuri Geller? I get my names mixed up. But he's out there and he does this wave. He's hanging from a strap and yeah. he turns his head and the whole helmet turns. Well, those heads turned in the helmet. The helmets were fixed to the thing. Right. It was Super. claymation. It was literally a claymation animation. And do you have you have these videos on the app? Uh, most of them are. Yeah, just look up uh, under the frequently asked questions and go to it's NASA, NASA, um, NASA fakery. Okay. Um, there's a long list of videos there, and we just keep adding and you know putting more in there. And as YouTube deletes them, we re-upload them. And um, definitely keep an eye out for those. Yeah. So, how about this? Next time you're on an airplane, if you ever go on an airplane again with the nonsense that's going on in the world, look out the left window, look out the right window, and you'll see, on the, if it's clear, you'll see that the horizon is right there at eye level. Draw an imaginary line, and it goes right through your eyes. It's at your eye level. Yeah. But according to Globe Math, the horizon should be 78,000 feet below you. 78,000 no feet below you. 
but you can draw a straight line. It goes right through your eyes. Okay. Game over. Earth is flat. It does not spin. We're not moving. The globe is retarded. And uh, anyone that believes it is, is uh, willfully ignorant after hearing this podcast, if they still believe it. I'll actually test that out because we're going to DC. So test it out next month. Absolutely. And we have guys on airplanes now that are taking infrared cameras um, and they can see impossible distances. Well, we're up high. Do the globe math. The horizon is supposed to be, you know, 200, 400, 500 miles away, 300 miles away, whatever it is. And we're seeing things 1,200 miles away. We're seeing things that should be under like 80 miles of curvature. Okay. We're wow. seeing stuff that is ridiculously far. And also, when you're flying in an airplane, yeah. you know, a gyroscope holds rigidity in space. That's how an airplane knows if it's level. Airplane's going, and if it turns, the gyroscope stays. Yeah. And it, so it, that's how it knows what level is. Well, a- after an hour, they, they should be 30 miles higher unless they nose down and go around. One hour, 30 miles higher, okay? 30, yeah. you, only, you only fly five miles in the air, okay? Mm-hmm. It's nonsense. Everything's nonsense. It's all nonsense. You know, it, it, all these guys got together just before Same. the moon landings in Hollywood. All right. Does that make any sense? Oh, it makes yeah. total sense. Yeah. N- yeah. No way. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. Just Pretty a coincidence. Just a coincidence. They were just doing some backup filming just so, you know, so the American people could see. I've I mean, heard that uses- NASA is Disney. <laughs> NASA is it. Disney. I think you know I what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I think that's where I heard it. Yeah, NASA and Disney are one and the same. And, you know, Disney had astronauts on. Before you can talk, your parents probably put a mobile over your head of the solar system and gave you NASA sheets and you parked in front of Sesame Street and Walt Disney and it's all globe programming. Then you go to school, you're excited, going to kindergarten. What's in the front of your classroom? A globe. What's yeah. the first worksheet you bring home? It's uh, the planetary orbits, you know? Yeah. Okay, the sun and the moon, which goes around which. I remember that sheet. They're still giving it to kids. It's globe programming. Because once you have the foundation of your world and build everything around it, most people are too lazy or unwilling to realize that their entire life has been a lie. So why the lie? Why, why, why all of this? And the answer is literally to hide who you are, to hide where you are, to hide uh, the true power that you have, to make you believe that there's shortages and that you have to worry and, uh, and, and that you need government to take care of you. When the truth is we're at the center of creation and we're powerful beings that no one has dominion over us. When you become a flat earther, you start, you, for some, it's amazing. You wake up to all of these other things, including you know, what government is, govern, control, meant is your mind. Yeah. They're literally controlling your mind. They put you in a prison that you don't see the wall, the ball, the walls, the balls. Um, because you're on a ball. You think, you know, oh, I, if I just went here, I'd end up over here. But that's not the case at all. If you went from Santiago, which is right here, yeah. and you went this way, you're going to end out out here somewhere. What's out here? What worlds are out here? What extra territory is out here? Okay. Extra terra. Yeah. <laughs> Ali- not aliens, extraterrestrials. And if this is the inner space, where are they coming from if they come visit? Outer yeah, space. Outer space. Yep. yep. Across the Earth plane. Why are all of the biggest telescopes first owned by the Vatican? Look into that. But why are they all in the outer southern lands? And they're looking south, which is out, out. South is every direction out. Why are they looking out? What are they looking at? Why aren't they looking up? Okay. Here's a map from Japan. What are all of these other continents? Uh, Yeah. That's the middle of Japan. No, no, this is from Japan. This from is Japan? Oh, this from is Japan, United States out. here, South America, United States. Oh, Europe, oh, I see what you know. you're saying. This is this is us. This is Antarctica, the land that we call Antarctica. Antarctica is the puddle um, that is the so edge rounded. of the puddle that we live in. So we're not a disc floating in space. We are um, in what I call the Antarctic basin. Antarctic basin. What is that? Here we are. Antarctica is the highest land on Earth. It's the shoreline that surrounds our world, the container for our pond. If you had a pond and you dug a hole in the bank somewhere yeah. to lower land, all the water's gonna run out. So Antarctica is the highest land on earth. Here we live, all of the, all of the, um, the land you know, is surrounded, by, well, we're surrounded by Antarctica. And do you think like if you, if, if realistically, if any of like, let's just say the flat earthers decided to go there, not, uh, not discriminate or anything, but 
Uh, do you actually think you would be stopped by government officials? We don't think it. We know it because it's been done. People have gone there. People have gotten permission to go there, and they've been stopped at force, threatened to be sunk, turned around, sent home, and put in jail. And they only okay. allow you to go to like the random spots on cruises. Let's just say well, it's, so, it's very controlled. You would say so. It costs you ten, thirty, forty thousand dollars to go for a couple of days. It's uh, they make it such a long journey. You end up here on this little peninsula, which is bigger than some countries, and they show you some penguins. They show you some ice. Maybe they'll bring you over here and show you the ceremonial South Pole. They'll even tell you it's a ceremonial South Pole because there is no South Pole. Yeah. And then they kick you out. No, and most of the time you'll be kept on the boat. You're not allowed to independently explore Antarctica. No one's allowed to go out here. This white area here oh. is probably a thousand miles, right? Okay. Yeah. So what's out here? There's, you know, Admiral Byrd went out there. He said he found land bigger than uh, b- bigger than uh, the United States, filled with resources, and uh, yeah. no human has ever set eyes upon it. But somehow we just make this treaty. No one can go there. It's the longest treaty ever standing. You can't even question it until the year 2041. But go Jeez. ahead, deforest the Amazon, but we have to protect the penguins and the ice. It's the last pristine spot You think they do it to protect your resources or something? No, they're doing it to stop you from realizing you don't live on a ball. There's more oh, yeah. out there. There's saying. more. There's people, you know, there, I believe that there's other worlds out beyond Antarctica, right here on Earth. They don't want us knowing that. We're in a prison run by a bunch of psychopaths. Well, I can agree with that, definitely. So here's how you prove the Earth is flat and end this right away. You know, they're, they're talking in Congress how to stop disinformation. These flat earthers, they're going to ruin the, gen- the next generation. You know, it's so, they've, they've, they've put so much money and time and effort into trying to stop us. Here's how you mm-hmm. stop us. One day, two airplanes, you all meet in Santiago, you fly over to Antarctica, you go to the base here, the, the land, they refuel. You get a bunch of scientists, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you guys, me, flat earthers, ball earthers, everyone. You get on these two airplanes and one of them flies a thousand feet in the air just off the shore and follows the shoreline, just follows it, follows mm-hmm. it. And we, and we watch it. You can, you can verify your speed because you can see the land. You're like, all right, this isn't a super fast plane. It's normal speed, 550 miles an hour. Six hours later, because it's like 12, 13,000 miles around, you know, 6,000, 6,500 miles later, the both planes would meet here. One goes this way, one goes this way, yeah. and they would meet right here. Boom. End of story. Can't do that on a flat earth. Problem is, they'll never do it because it's much bigger than that. The last person to try it on a boat was Captain Cook. It took him three and a half years. He went 60 to 70,000 miles. Jeez. Wow. Okay. 60 to 70,000 miles. It's what? It's 10 times more. I mean, I mean, what is it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's seven thousand miles all the way around, or what is it? Well, it's how many a, miles around it, is? So thirteen thousand miles. 13, so it's a, uh, you know, five six times more. Okay, that's insane. The equator, which is right here, is yeah. twenty four thousand miles around. Right? If the Earth was a ball, it would be smaller. You know, twelve thousand miles. They tell us it's twelve thousand miles around, um, but it's sixty to seventy thousand miles. It's 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 all right there. Let's do a, um, a, we'll talk about the um, plane, plane routes, right? Buenos Aires to Perth. Flight Aware says this is the fastest trip, but we can't disturb, disturb the penguins. You know, don't fly over, <laughs> don't fly over there. We disturb the penguins, <laughs> right? So you just fly around, right? That would be the shortest trip, or maybe you go this way, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would be the shortest trip, but nope, that's not how they go. They go from Buenos Aires, you go, all the way over, they stop in Miami or, or Houston, then they stop again in LA, then they stop in Sydney, and then they fly over. It takes like 26 hours, Jeez. right? Or they go from here, Europe, Singapore, Perth, okay? Why didn't they just cut across and magically pop over here? Because it's not magic, right? It, you can't do it. It's how the world works. And would they use the excuses of just in case it's like for emergency landings? There's or a book called these? 16 Emergency Landings. So okay. NASA's in charge of radar. NASA's in charge of uh, airplane routes and GPS. So they're the controllers of the deception. Mm-hmm. So, you know, many pilots know. Some pilots don't know because they're just glorified bus drivers that could go, you know, take off and land the plane and let the plane fly itself. Um, they don't know where they're going. Oh, and I think I heard you guys say, you know, was it you guys talking about you leave California, you head west, and then you end up back in California? Was it you guys? No, mm-hmm. no. no. All right. No. All right. Good. Oh, it's another show. <laughs> another show. Sorry. Okay, okay. So many shows. <laughs> um, so when there's an emergency, they got to land fast. So, uh, so 
you know, that causes a problem for, for them because they're not where they say they are, especially on these long flights from Southern locations. So okay. one of them, one of my favorites is um, from Taiwan to LA, the plane was going, here's Hawaii, to, right here, there's an emergency, you land in Hawaii, or maybe go all the way if somehow reason Hawaii couldn't accept you, right? Yeah. But instead they went 1,000, 2,000 miles out of the way, or a couple thousand miles out of the way to Alaska. Chart this, so draw a straight line from Taiwan to LA on a flat earth map. Here you go. Taiwan, emergency, Alaska. Hawaii is all the way out here. Okay. There's wow. 16 documented ones. Actually, there's 17 now because there's a new one that happened and it's actually coming out on the app either tomorrow or the following day under the featured videos. Mm -hmm. um, there was a one of the crew members who, you know, got the pokey poke had some yeah. heart condition and oh, uh, they had to land. And they, again, they landed in an airport that makes no sense on a map. But if you draw a line from the, from the um, departing airport to the receiving airport, it's right yeah. on that line. How many times does this have to happen for people to realize the earth is flat? They're lying about everything. And, you know, and we need to wake up. I could definitely see that now. Yeah. Um, and, and, and more and more people. And I've heard there's like, I think seven or eight cases isn't it, of people that getting the vaccine and dying on airplanes. Hey, hey, now. hey, hey, we love Dr. Fauci. That's not that is false information. <laughs> okay. Stop okay. that. The vaccine is the best thing that's ever happened to anyone <laughs> on earth. And, uh, and, and don't say anything that, that would, you know, I'm, I'm going to go in line and get mine very, very soon. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think uh, we can wrap it up at this hour right now. I know you're really busy. You probably have some uh, people ahead of us. So I definitely appreciate your time. And uh, thank um, you for And you guys have my app, the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. We do, yes. Um, yes. Learn how, just use it. Learn, understand how the seasons work. Use the jump button. You're going to be able to find Flat Earthers near you soon, uh, next week, I hope, to have a new update out, which you'll be able to turn it on and say, hey, look, there's other Flat Earthers near me. And you can message them and uh, say, hey, meet oh, at the local awesome. pub and we can talk Flat Earth. It's because, definitely, I'm getting more and more interested. Because while you're going to need it. that. Let me tell you why you're going to need to meet other flat earthers. Because we're having a good conference. Where are you guys located? Uh, South Florida. Florida. South oh, Florida. Well, if you go on a road trip, South Carolina, October, Flattober Fest. It's under flatearthfestivals.com, two day festival. It's going to be amazing. There'll be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of flat earthers there. And everyone that you meet will instantly become a lifelong friend. They're all awesome people. And you're going to need that because you're going to lose some of your friends and maybe some family members <laughs> because they're not all going to wake up like you guys are. Right. Yeah, so, exactly. So listen, you're going to trade in some friends that yeah, maybe they're not so smart. Right. And you're going to get some smarter <laughs> friends. Okay. Yeah. So that's important, <laughs> important feature because, you know, if I said, Hey, give me $5 and you gave me $5, but you can get 10 more. Hey, that's all right. Right. Yeah. Right. right? So you're going to lose, you're going to lose a, lose a couple of <laughs> friends, but you're going to gain some new ones. So, Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll just definitely make sure keep that looking door, into the door it swings and, uh, both ways. Oh yeah, I'll definitely keep looking into it and see what we can find. So. And just know for anyone listening, the on uh, on Android, there's already a Flat Earth Society knockoff one. It's by the Ron Media Group. Uh, it's horrible. Don't send me emails telling me my app sucks because it's not my app. <laughs> my app is the highest rated app in the App Store. It's by Blue Water Bay. Don't forget that this is the icon. If you're looking at a computer, just point your camera right there. Um, or just go to the flat earth and uh, links are right there and uh, check it out. Um, just read the reviews if you're unsure, because the reviews will turn you into a, a blender. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I appreciate your time. And uh, thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to have an interview with you. So. All right, man. Thanks.